With helicopters and horses, fish managers have undertaken a mammoth task to restore more than half of the West Slope cutthroat trout's remaining range. It's certainly one of the largest cutthroat conservation projects, if not trout conservation projects in the western U.S. Biologists are planting West Slope cutthroat trout in more than 20 mountain lakes in the South Fork drainage of the Flathead River. By targeting these headwater lakes, biologists hope these cutthroat will eventually trickle downstream, creating a strong and healthy native cutthroat population throughout the entire drainage. I would consider the project complete and success when we can look back at these lakes and streams, all these interconnected waters, and see naturally reproducing native species uh, in the wild. To carry out this massive project, biologists use a variety of methods to accomplish the job. I think one of the strengths of this project is the use of adaptive management. It's taken place over a length of time, and as we do these projects, we learn new things. We get to use different, different techniques. Biologists are midway through this decade-long project, but they are already seeing signs of success. We're really starting to see the fruits of our labors. We're getting fish back in the lakes, uh, getting reports from anglers who are catching fish. Recreational fisheries are reestablished, and uh, good things are being done for cutthroat trout conservation. Winston Greeley, Adam Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.